My name is Pekka Nittamäki. I am professor in Jyväskylä University in Faculty of Information Technology. My specialty is scientific computing, digitalization, and in recent years I have concentrated to digital platforms, especially in education and healthcare. I, I am now I have a UNESCO share in, in that topic. My specialty and my interest has been to educate new doctors. I have at the moment about uh, 20 doctoral students, more than 50% are outside of Finland. And I'm very happy to have students coming from various countries in the world. And what is the topic typically? Is that we want to have topics how you can improve education or healthcare in your country. And as well, this conference is this creative education technology. We are trying to find new kind of techniques um, how the school work can be improved. One topic is that if this is the uh, this is the school, I can I tell that this is pocket school. To take the pocket and the digital form, you will get um, material of the what you need in the school. And our goal is that maybe 80% of the material comes from internet in digital form and 20% is in the school. Especially in the mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, they are global, globally the same. It doesn't matter where, where the material will come. This helps essentially the teachers' education because teachers' job, because these difficult things comes globally and teachers' role is to support learners and uh, they did not uh, teach mathematics physics locally because as we, we know that the teacher education is not, not enough at the moment. I can tell that um, in my city, Jyväskylä, teacher education started almost 160 years ago, 1864. It was the fundamental uh, for Finland because uh, that from that moment when the, the teachers went to school, it started new phase. School uh, 150 or 60 years ago was much different than at the moment. We don't have, we did not have any school buildings. Teachers went uh, village to village, and the school was at the home of some um, some farmers typically, and children from neighboring villages and then come come uh, came to to this home. It was, uh, let's say, 40 square meters only. Very, very elementary. But in two weeks, they learned something about reading, a little bit mathematics. And then uh, the teachers went uh, to another village and came after some months back. So teachers came to the village and was organized there. It was mobile, mobile school in that sense. But it was the start. And almost 40, 50 years later than the teachers' education started, we had money to uh, have school buildings. And how we did? Farmers have given material to build because we have more food material. And uh, they worked together as a team and built a small food school in the villages. And then we have physical, physical schools. And it was very elementary, but then it was the place where the teachers but and very early uh, we have seen that the uh, children must get food in the school. Kitchen was the important because as you know that there were families which were very poor and so and then they collected money that they had something warm to eat. School, school started from eight to nine, eight or nine. In the morning it was dark, winter time. And children came from the distance of six, even ten kilometers in the winter in the snow skiing or in the bike. Because in Finland, the habit that parents don't help pupils to go to school, they must go alone. I remember I, I had them, uh, we had them skiing in the winter and uh, in, the, in, in the summer I bike. But anyhow, this um, um, lunch break. 11 o'clock was uh, very important that they got a warm food, uh, something to eat, and then they could continue until 2, two o'clock. 
And step by step, uh, we developed as well this teacher's education about uh, more than 36. In Yvaskula, we started the second phase of teacher's education. And now, um, first teacher's education was two years. It was bachelor level, but now all teachers are, have master degree. And what is good, that it is very popular uh, profession, uh, profession. We have uh, maybe 10 applica applica applicants for one position. Only only 10% of the applicants ca can, uh, can get the... In medicine, we have 25 for one position. In mathematics, three applic applicants for one. In physics, one to one almost. But it is, it is good. What is the reason for that? We say that there are three reasons. June, July and August. Because we are three months holiday. And uh, typically when you have uh, children and family, it is very, very nice to have um, three months break. And in, in, uh, in uh, Christmas time, we have almost one month break. That means that there are four, four reasons. Four months holiday practically. But eight months is enough for the learning, learning process. So welcome uh, to this conference, uh, Creative Education Technology. And during this uh, conference, we hope to find new solutions for future how the education must be organized. As, as you know, that there is lack of um, millions of teachers in the world. And uh, we must find another solutions that uh, tend to have teachers more and more because it is not realistic. And that is why the digitalization platforms in education will, will offer one, one possibility to solve these problems. Thank you very much.